ready to launch a Jupiter C missile with a satellite payload. 80 days before, clearance had been given to proceed with the launch. The Army selected the Jupiter C because of its proven reliability. The California Institute of Technology's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, now under contract to NASA, designed and manufactured the advanced stages and the payload. The payload transmitters would have an expected broadcast life of two weeks for the 60 milliwatt transmitter and two months for the one putting out 10 milliwatts. The payload measured 80 inches by six inches and weighed 30 and 8 tenths pounds. Each component in the high-speed assembly was spin-tested. It was thought that centrifugal force might distort the structure of the solid propellant within the high-speed rocket motor. It, too, was subjected to spin-testing. measures 2.5 low. Calibrator on. Go back on. Cape radar off. This is Project Command. The time is now X minus 33 minutes. Authorized personnel may resume work on pad. Resume work on pad. Hold for final transmission test. This is Project signal is given, it will take almost 16 seconds for the vehicle to take off. Pressurization will be started at X plus 3 seconds. At X plus 14 seconds, ignition will begin. Thrust buildup will continue until liftoff at about X plus 16 seconds. This is Project Command. My command mark time will be X minus 1 minute. was a success, and the first United States satellite was named Explorer 1. 
Explorer 1 made the most important discovery of the International Geophysical Year, the existence of a great belt of radiation, identified by Dr. James A. Van Allen, head of the State University of Iowa Physics Department. On March 17,